My review for Luke Benson's The Fifth Element. It's like, it's like someone took Star Wars and Star Trek, got them drunk one night, had them hook up, and then never talk to each other until nine months later one of them popped out the fifth element as their baby. It, it's so good. So good. There's like so many good things like Bruce Willis with hair. Who doesn't like that? Gary Oldman. I think he is the, one of those versatile actors that can just be either good or really bad. Whichever one he wants to play, he's so good at it. I mean, he's so many, so many good like bad been bad and good this is one of his bad guy performances and it's just spectacular like you don't really you get like little bits of him you don't get like thrown in your face like he's not the main bad guy but he's helping the bad guy so it's it's uh it's nice and like he's like one of those eccentric entrepreneurs that you just don't want to be around or don't want to fuck with because you don't know what is gonna come out from him he's just really weird and Mila Jovovich oh my god she is such she is a female action star she forever I mean I've never watched the Resident Evil movies but what I've seen I mean this ultraviolet I can't remember some of the other things that she's done but she is a She's an action star. She is a female action star and it is a like relief where you don't see a female action star and she's not like, oh no, I'm a female action star. I have to like play the damsel in distress right now. I, you know, I mean, she, yes, she is a damsel in distress, but you know, she can kick ass at the same time as being the damsel in distress. And then you got Chris Tucker. Oh my God. Oh my god. Ruby Rod. Ugh. This is hysterical. He brings the comedy to the movie. It makes you laugh. You make his psychoticness, oh my god, it's all about me. It just makes you laugh. And then my favorite part of the entire movie is the diva, Pava Laguna. Her scene is like, oh my god. It goes from Oh, opera, and then it's like hip hop opera. It's, it's awesome. All in all, I would give this. Uh, well, yeah, I, I gotta think it was like if I were doing a star system, four and a half. Just like little nuances, I think would probably need to be changed. But other than that, it's awesome. Hover cars, government into everything. Corbin's mother. I think I'd probably change that. Who was the one with the cat? Anyways, that is my review. Yeah, four and a half stars. That's what I give it. It's it's good. I like it, and I watch it continuously every time it comes on to TNT. I'm obsessed with it. Really, I'd have to sit down and watch it. Yeah.